हेलो गाइस, आई एम रंजन मिश्रा एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डराइव मिनिमम डेविएशन प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय प्रिज्म दिस इज द प्रिज्म यू कैन सी फ्रॉम दिस प्रिज्म वी विल डू एक्सपेरिमेंट इन आवर लैब फॉर मिनिमम डेविएशन ओके नाउ यू आर डराइव हियर फॉर्मूला फॉर मिनिमम डेविएशन ओके लेट अस सी इट इज अ प्रिज्म आई एम मेकिंग डायग्राम बाय रनिंग हैंड सो यू हैव टू मैनेज ए बी एंड सी दिस इज अ प्रिज्म लेट दिस इज द इंसिडेंट रे this ray is incident on the prism okay and this is normal at point of incidence if there was no prism this light must go like this without deviation okay but because a medium is present another medium is present and it is denser it will bend towards the normal this is normal and this light bend towards the normal that means at this point this is the deviation okay now at this surface you can see let us draw first normal this is the normal if there is no medium change this light must go like this but because it going from denser to rarer it will bend away from the normal the actual path should be like this in this way but it bend this is the normal away from the normal that means in this case deviation is this now we have to calculate the deviation the actual path before entering the prism was this and this ray is going out so if i extend this line this will be the this will be the deviation total deviation produced by the prism okay this angle this is the normal and this is incident ray so this angle we say as incident angle okay and this angle is called emergent angle okay this is refracted angle for this surface we say it uh, r1 and this is incident angle for this surface we say it r2 okay now let the name of the ray p q r and s okay we can see the deviation produced if this angle is i then alternate interior angle must be i that means this angle must be i this is i so this angle also be i but deviation produced by this surface is only this this is the deviation produced by this surface that is surface ab so if i calculate total deviation i have to add deviation produced by this surface and deviation produced by this surface at surface ab deviation produces this angle uh this is a q and let's see say it uh, p q r s say it uh, m and this as n okay now this deviation is i minus r1 okay this total angle is i and this is r1 so this angle will be i minus r1 plus c at the surface ab this angle is this ang this total angle is e but 
this is r2 okay this is r2 so it also be r2 this angle will be r2 so deviation produced at this surface is this only so it must be e minus r2 this is the total deviation produced by the prism now just rearrange it it will be i plus e minus r1 plus r2 all these are all angles remember this i r1 r2 e all are angle i am not using this sign okay but you have to check it these are the angles let's set uh, this is equation number 1 okay now now see this is normal so this angle will be 90 degree and this is also num uh, normal so this angle also be 90 degree so if i take a quadrilateral a q n and r let us take in quadrilateral a q a q a q n r a q n r this angle is 90 degree this angle is 90 degree so angle a this angle and this angle q n r angle q n r must be equal to 180 degree because in quadrilateral the sum of all angles must be equal to 360 and this and this sum up to 180 so angle a and angle q and r must be 180 degree okay let's see equation number 2 now in triangle q and r q and r r1 plus r2 plus this angle must be 180 degree because sum of all angle of a triangle must be 180 degree so angle r1 plus angle r2 plus angle q and r q and r must be equal to 180 degree that is equation number 3 now see q and r q and r in equation 2 and 3 here is q and r and in right hand side this is 180 degree so angle a, a must be equal to angle r1 plus r2 because both equations are equal in right hand side there is 180 degree here is also 180 degree and this angle is common so angle a must be equal to angle r1 plus r2 okay so from equation 2 and 3 angle a must be equal to angle r1 plus angle r2 okay let's see it equation number 4 okay now here is delta equal to i plus e and this is r1 plus r2 now we apply a condition for minimum deviation for minimum deviation r1 must be equal to r2 okay and this is r i say it r okay and i must be equal to e we applied the condition for minimum deviation r1 must be equal to r and i must be equal to e okay by this condition if apply here delta becomes delta m and we can say this is 2i because i and e are equal so i can write this as 2i and minus r1 plus r2 r1 plus r2 is a from this if apply 
both condition here r1 plus r2 is a r1 plus r2 so i can write it a from where here we get i angle i equal to delta m plus a by 2 this is equation number 5 and from equation 4 from equation 4 because r1 and r2 is equal and this is r it becomes 2r so r will be a by 2 equation number 6 okay now we know that snell's law mu1 sin i let the refractive index of this medium is mu1 and refractive index of prism is mu2 okay then so we can say that from snell's law from snell's law mu1 sin i must be equal to mu2 sin r okay mu2 sin i must be equal to mu2 sin r now do it now here we have mu1 sin i equal to mu2 sin r now do on the next page okay here mu1 sin i equal to mu2 sin r okay but for a small angles for a small angles we know that sin theta can be written as theta so it will be mu1 i equal to mu2 r okay see here i is delta m a upon 2 so mu1 in place of uh, i you can write uh, delta m plus a by 2 equal to mu2 and r is you can see here r is a by 2 so it is a by 2 okay now this 2 and 2 is cancel out and uh, mu1 delta m plus a equal to mu2 a now take a in left side and mu1 in right side you can write delta m plus a by a equal to mu2 upon mu1 and that can be written as mu21 so it becomes delta m upon a plus 1 equal to mu21 now take 1 in right hand side it becomes delta m upon a equal to mu21 minus 1 now we can write delta m equal to a mu21 minus 1 this is the derivation for a minimum deviation of a prism okay now we can draw graph between a angle of deviation and angle of incidence here will be delta and here will be i this graph is like this this will be minimum deviation okay this will be the minimum deviation and this is all about prism okay now we have derived the formula and drawn the graph okay thank you